sir. Call the work session to order. Um, first order of business that we're going to have this morning is that we're going to have a state of the art center presentation from Ms. Cheryl Oliver. Ms. Oliver, come forward, please. Well, thank you. Good morning, everybody. Good, Good morning. morning. First of all, I want to thank all of you for everything you do to make Lowndes County the best place to live. Um, and I should know I've been here a long time. And I also thank you for the opportunity to give you a state of the art center update. The Lowndes Valdosta Arts Commission, doing business as the Annette Howell Turner Center for the Arts, um, means business. It might surprise you, and it does some people, that I proclaim our existence as a vital economic and community development tool rather than just a quality of life instrument, which it certainly is. In this report, and I put little packets by your places. There's some good things in there. In this report from the Americans for the Arts, I found a statement by former Philadelphia Mayor Michael Nutter, and I'm just going to paraphrase that. You have a larger version of this. It looks more like this sheet, this booklet. There's a lot of good information in there. But he says, and I'm paraphrasing, that government leaders understand the connection between the arts industry and city and county revenues. Arts activity creates thousands of direct and indirect jobs and generates billions of government and business revenues. The arts also make our communities destinations for tourists, help attract and retain businesses, and play an important role in the economic revitalization of cities and the vibrancy of our neighborhoods. The facts contained in this report filter down to our own community. A case in point is our presentation last month of the Broadway musical Amazing Grace uh, at Mathis Auditorium. I hope that some of you got to see it. Not only did we sell almost every seat in the auditorium, and Joyce, your Commissioner Evans is nodding her head because she knows how good it was. Um, we sold almost every seat in the auditorium, and we also employed more than 40 people to make the show happen. Um, 30 were local and 9 came from Jacksonville. We attracted tourists who spent dollars in Valdosta and we brought in a cast of 22 professionals who spent money on hotel rooms and gas and food and beverages, a lot of beverages. They had a good time. <laughs> and that was just one show in one season of our presenter series. And this is our 50th season. So you can imagine the, the economic impact of that over the years. We have another show coming up on April the 23rd, a 2014 Tony Award winner called A Gentleman's Guide to Love and Murder. I hope you'll join us for it. You might learn something. We are proud to offer complimentary tickets for each of our presenter series shows to an appreciative segment of the underserved population. More than For each show, more than 100 people from um, LARC, the Children's Advocacy Center, the Boys and Girls Club, VECA, Methodist Home for Children and Youth, the Georgia Sheriff's Youth Ranch, Little Actors Theater, and many other organizations um, love these shows. And the responses that we get from them would really warm your hearts. I hope that you've taken the time to visit the Turner Center recently. It's, um, it's just a skip and a hop from this building, and it's admission free. We will fight to keep it that way. It's a great place to spend a refreshing lunch hour in a beautiful environment filled with art that changes frequently so that there's always something new to see. Our curator, Bill Shinton, makes sure of that. And speaking of visitors, our activity and usage reports um, show an impressive number of visitors to the center for browsing our seven galleries and gift shop, attending meetings and classes and workshops and tours and receptions and concerts and other events. We welcome more than 1,600 visitors every month on average. We're immensely proud of our community partnerships, and we're looking for a way to partner with the county on a countywide event, aren't we, Paige? <laughs> we collaborate with um, um, the city in the city photo contest, of course, the dumpster art painting events. I think you have to admit that that's an improvement. The Public Art Advisory Committee and others. And we also partner with VSU, the Boys and Girls Club, the Chamber of Commerce, Moody Air Force Base Theater Guild, Valdosta Leadership Lounge, the Valdosta Symphony and Choral Guilds, South Georgia Regional Library, the Valdosta Mall, several churches and businesses, and many other entities. 
One exciting new partnership is um, helping to provide artwork for the new library. And another is our involvement in facilitating Congressman Austin Scott's um, Congressional High School Art Competition. Collaborations prove that there is strength in numbers and combined effort. Going strong right now is our Career Pathways program made possible by a grant from Guardian Bank. With their help and a grant from Georgia Council for the Arts, we've created a computer studio. And right now the curriculum includes photography and photo editing, and those classes are filled. And we, in the future, we will teach um, graphic design and other art-related career opportunities. And many of the students in that program are from the underserved community, and we're able to offer scholarships to them. One of our newest partnerships is with the Evening Reporting Center. I don't know if you're familiar with that group. It's actually a national organization with a chapter here in Valdosta. Through art activities on Tuesday afternoons, our art education administrator, Debbie Davis, is offering students who've already gotten in trouble with the law an alternative to destructive behaviors. These are kids who are, they're trying to keep them out of detention centers. So if we can just give them a little bit of hope, a little bit of vision for a better something to do with their time, I think we've accomplished a great purpose. Since we hired Debbie 18 months ago, our educational offerings have skyrocketed. The number of art talks and classes and workshops and other learning activities for children and adults is climbing steadily. And we make sure that people who can't afford the fees are available or are enabled through scholarships. Beginning last year, we expanded art and guitar instruction into Eccles County High School, where no music or art program exists. In your packet, you have a copy of our 2020 or 2015-2020 strategic plan. I'd love it if you'd take a look at this. It's not only a beautiful document created in-house, designed by our curator, Bill Shenton, um, and printed locally. Um, it's, it's a working document. Our goals and our outlines are, or our goals and our plans are outlined in here, and we are steadily working to reach those. It's about time to update it, actually. Um, along with the strategic plan in the very back of it, you'll find something that probably would help you sleep at night if you're having trouble. <laughs> it's the addendum to the strategic plan, which actually summarizes I should probably say details, how we got to this. Dr. Ron Zachariah was our guiding light for this, um, this strategic plan, and we used the six thinking hats process to get there, and it's really an interesting um, read. So take some time to read that. I wanted you to have this. It's our case for support. It's what we call um, a, a real brief summary of our strategic plans. It does list our five major goals and our initiatives on how we're going to get there. On the back, if anybody asks you why you support the arts, you got all the answers right there, 10 reasons to support the arts. So it's a, it's a really good summary of why the arts are um, worthy of support. And inside your packet is this awesome little chocolate that says thank you. These were created for you handmade chocolates at no cost to us by Lynn, Lynn Abramzik. She's called the chocolate lady, so enjoy this for Valentine's Day. I could go on endlessly about how the Turner Center for the Arts impacts and benefits our community, but I know that time is limited, and I want to talk briefly about my stepping aside as the executive director. Well, like a coach that wants to go out on a winning season, I know the time has come. It's a difficult decision, and I have a lot of mixed feelings about it. Um, in 2017, we received the Georgia Governor's Award for the Arts and Humanities. We've eliminated all of our debt. We've grown our endowment fund to almost $1.5 million, even after last week. We're meeting the goals in our strategic plan. We have in place springboards for increased community output and outreach. We have strong administrative and leadership teams, and we're poised to reach a higher than ever level of community impact. Long before I became executive director for the, of the Center for the Arts, or excuse me, the Turner Center um, in, in 2008, I was a member of the Turner Center for a long time before that, and a lifetime member of the Center for the Arts Guild. And long after I leave my position at the end of April, I will remain a member and a supporter. 
The Lowndes Valdosta Arts Commission is a noble organization, and we, the LVAC board, the Turner Center staff, and I thank you, Chairman, Commissioners, Mr. Pritchard, for your enduring support of our cause, that of promoting and advancing the arts for the betterment of all of our community. I hope you'll join us on Sunday, February 25th for Youth Art Month. Chairman Slaughter's been there several times, and he knows it's, it's kind of a zoo, but it's so much fun. Um, we will welcome at least 1,000 visitors to the Art Center in a two-and-a-half-hour period that afternoon. I'd love for you all to come and see how proud the children are of having being bona fide artists because their work is hanging in a, a, an art gallery. So I'd love for you to come to that and come anytime and visit us. Do you have any questions? No, uh, no questions, Cheryl, but uh, I'd like to take this opportunity to thank you personally for all the hard work and the dedication that you put into not just the Arts Center, but arts as a whole in our community. Um, it's just like you had mentioned. It, it's amazing to me to see the enthusiasm on these young people when they go into the Arts Center and they see their work, of their piece hanging on the wall on uh, on display so you can just see the, the excitement in their eyes uh, in their parents grandparents everyone that's involved and you're the, you're the reason that that happens you and your staff so you will be missed there's no doubt about it your enthusiasm has just always been uh, top of the hill you get everyone else enthused Good. in the arts and that really is uh, it is your responsibilities, but you've done an excellent, excellent job with it in this community. So thank you very thank much. Thank you, Chairman. I appreciate that. Thank you all. Thank you. Thanks, Cheryl. Thank you.